Fuck them. Today, I just want to go over some of these weapons that are coming next week. We have three in total. The first is Aberrant Action, which is the rocket sidearm. It's a solo one, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be the most used weapon of the season. We also have the Creation, which is the Arc Pulse Rifle. It's a two burst one, which is, we don't really get too much of those, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be really good. We finally have my favorite shotgun back, Perfect Paradox. It has some new perks and also has some old ones that it used to have. It's a pretty good lineup of weapons, so let's just get into the rolls. Okay, so for Aberrant Action, you have Strategist, Pugilist, Field Prep, Beacon Rounds, Threat Detector, Ambitious Assassin, and Hill Clip. The second column has Snapshot, Harmony, Golden Tricorn, Demolitionist, Swashbuckler, Reverberation, and Incandescent. Now, out of all these right now, I'm just telling you, you want Incandescent on this weapon. These type of sidearms really just turn into a primary weapon, so so the incandescent is really going to help with the act clear. But I mean, you do have a lot of options to pair with it. You have heal clip. When you get a kill and reload, you'll apply cure times two to yourself and cure times one to your allies. So this is really a top pick. You can also just turn this weapon to just a complete ability based weapon that just gives you abilities like crazy. You have strategist and pugilist in the first column. They both pretty much do the same thing, but but Strategist gives you 10% class ability energy on kill, and Pugilist gives you 10% melee energy on kill. And if you don't know with these ability based perks, you do get way more energy if you use a special weapon or a heavy weapon. So if I'm correct, this should give you 20% ability energy on kill, compared to their primary which is 10% on kill. Pair either of those with Demolitionist in the second column, and then you have yourself a full ability based weapon. I see Reverberation on there, it's a new perk that I recently went over. I'm probably going to test it when it comes out and see how it is. And I'll just let you guys know if it's good. For me, the top two damage perks I see is Golden Tricorn and Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler gives you stacking damage increase over time as you get kills. And when you get a melee, you get the full stack. Golden Tricorn is kind of more situational than Swashbuckler. Kills will grant a damage buff. And while the buff is active, if you get a melee or grenade kill of the same element, the damage buff will go all the way up to 50%. I would say this is like the best buff to have. So if you find yourself having a melee or a grenade build, that you're spamming a lot, then this is a pretty good perk. All these weapons have the Radio Lariat trans Transposer origin trait, which basically spawns a little pool of Vex fluid if you get rapid kills. It's pretty good and it's gonna help a lot with the ad clear. Next is Creation. In the first column, we have Air Trigger, Perfect Float, Pugilist, Eddy Current, Inline Action, Perpetual Motion, and High Impact Reserves. Second column is High Ground, Eye of the Storm, Frenzy, Swashbuckler, Volt Shot, One For All, and Focus Fury. Firstly, I see something new, which is High Impact Reserves on the first column. It's not the best, but it is gonna add on some extra damage. So this is a pretty top perk. I'm also eyeing Pugilist or either a line action. Pugilist, of course, for that melee energy, or a line action if I'm looking to increase my reload. Now in the second column, we have a lot of really good damage perks. So that means I'm most likely gonna craft one or either two rolls that I want. First one is definitely Volt Shot because I don't see Vulture on many of these Arc Pulse Rifles. Second one for me would either be One For All or Frenzy. One For All is pretty easy to proc because you only really have to hit three separate enemies to get that 35% damage buff. And Frenzy's damage buff is only 15% if you remain in combat for 12 seconds, but you do get 100 handling and 100 reload. So I'm trying to decide which one I like the best. Next we have Perfect Paradox. In the first column we have Threat Detector, Slide Shot, Field Prep, Dual Loader, Pugilist, and Threat Remover. Second column is Trench Barrel, Swashbuckler, Opening Shot, Forpo, One-Two Punch, and Barrel Constrictor. You probably don't know this, but I'm really a big fan of Dual Loader because it reloads two shots at a time for shotguns. So I'm probably gonna pick that in the first column. Now my second option will probably be Pugilist because with these types of weapons, I like to use it for a melee build. So me getting kills and getting melee energy is just gonna help out a lot. I would pair either of those with One-Two Punch in the second column just so I could get more damage to my melee. And for damage, the best perk I see right now is Trench Bro. All you really have to do is melee and your next three shots to increase damage. I would probably pair that with Dual Loader cause it's a pretty good cycle between them. Punch, shoot, and then reload two shots at a time. The origin trait for this one is Cast No Shadows. When you deal melee damage, you get increased handling and also reload some ammo from reserves. This is another reason why Trench Bro is really good on this weapon. And that's all three of the weapons coming next week. Those are the roles I'm looking for, and, and I'm pretty sure all three of them are going to be really good. Let me know what perks you're actually looking for on these weapons, and which one are you going to focus on first? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.